Hello, beautiful. He is Joe with his baseball cap on and his blue jeans. And for show, he's a different guy. He puts on the suit and he slicks his hair back and he puts on the sunglasses. And then he has a glass of wine and Joe Bonamassa, the recording artist, comes out. It's fantastic. He really is two people. He's two-faced. I started playing at the age of four. My father put a guitar in my hand. I was a little kid that crashed the party in upstate New York. The day before his 12th birthday, we got a call and asked if Joe would like to open up for B.B. King. Would you act joy? Prodigies come few and far between. I saw him take an audience apart. I made a decision right then and there. I said, this is what you need to do. I don't want a real job. I want to be a guitar player, and I want to play the Royal Albert Hall. Mr. Eric Clapton is going to come out and play and sing this. Joe Bonamassa has more number one blues albums than anyone else in blues history. Bonamassa doesn't like feeling safe. He likes to challenge. He tries many different things. He tries different kinds of music. He plays in different kinds of bands. He's always searching. Me down. They can say a lot of things about me, but they can't say we don't take a risk and we don't put everything out there on the table. You have to go through the bad experiences, but once you have the, I got nothing to lose, that's when you're the most dangerous. I just want to make some money so I can buy a Fender amp. I think, I think I did okay. <laughs>